Hey, what's going on, Aries? Butch Tarot here. I'm gonna do your two week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. We're gonna use the Santa Morte deck. And it is still one of my favorite decks. I have, I have a lot of decks, but this is probably my top three along with the Celtic Tarot and the Tattoo Tarot. Uh, you know, I really enjoy this. I, I highly rec recommend it. Um, so with all that information out of the way, let's get it. What is going on for Aries? Aries. So the first thing I have, Aries, is I feel like there is someone from your past. Now, this person, I feel like, is coming back. Now, this is someone that I feel like, you know, they regret walking away. They regret, you know, they, they regret ever letting you go. You know, I, I feel like I feel like this person, you know, they didn't nurture the situation in the past. You know, they were afraid to take that leap of faith. You know, I feel like this person was looking at the negatives instead of the positives. But this person has been surrounded by, you know, by regret ever since. You know, I feel like this person there were some commitment issues. You know, they, even though they had a strong connection with you, even though, you know, they really wanted it, I feel like you knew they wanted it, but what was confusing is this person kept pushing you away. Even though you felt there was so much more here that wasn't being said, you know, there was some underlining feelings that weren't coming to light, I feel like this person just couldn't, you know, they couldn't step up to the plate. You know, there, I, I feel a lot of commitment issues with this person in the past. I feel like, you know, the way they seen you, they felt like you had your shit together. And they felt like they weren't up to par. But I feel like that has changed. I feel like now they're ready. They're ready to give you what you want. They're ready to step up to the plate and, and give you everything they have to give. Now, I feel like a lot of a lot of big changes has come for this person over this time. You know, I feel like this person is finally, you know, they finally regained their confidence with that King of, uh, King of, King of Wands, that, that Leo energy. I feel like this person's finally got their shit together. I feel like even though this person didn't give you what you wanted in the past. They didn't feel like they were capable of giving it to you. They never really walked away from this. You know, we have that Eight of Cups in reverse. Emotionally, they, they never... They never walked away from this. They never felt like it was truly over. They just felt like it wasn't the right time. You know, they felt like they couldn't give you what it was that you needed. They couldn't be who you needed them to be. But they can now. Like I said, they haven't stopped thinking about you. 
all those sleepless nights, all that anxiety, all that, you know, they haven't stopped thinking about you. They've never walked away from this. They don't want to walk away from this. They haven't let this go. They can't let you go. They see what you truly mean to them. They always understood that. They just didn't feel like they could be what you needed them to be. So instead of stepping up, you know, I feel like they stepped off. You know, and I feel like in the past, that I feel like this was very confusing. Like I said, I feel like you felt like there was something here that wasn't being said. You felt the true connection. But then it just started feeling like there was a lot of games being played. You know, like there was a lot of player energy. I don't feel like that's, that's necessarily how they were trying to come off. They just, you know, they just couldn't be what you needed them to be or what they thought you needed them to be. You know, they weren't trusting their intuition. You know, they weren't willing to take that leap of faith. But like I said, I feel like they're coming back and they're coming back and they finally got their shit together. They're feeling confident. They're feeling, you know, on top of shit. I, I just feel like they had a lot going on. I feel like it really had nothing to do with you. I just feel like they had so much going on around them. It felt like their world was crumbling around them. And it was almost like they felt like they would just bring you down and eventually you'd walk away from them and, and they'd lose it. You know, they weren't in a place where they were ready to give anybody anything. They weren't willing to take that leap of faith because, you know, they didn't trust it. But like I said, I do see them coming back. I do see them opening up communication. And I feel like you're going to get a completely different person. You know, I feel like those feelings are going to be the same. But I feel like you're truly going to see a different side of this person. You know, there's no more of that, you know, negative energy around this person. I feel like they've, like I said, there's a lot of big changes for this person. I feel like they've really come a long way. You know, and they're really, you know, really willing to step up and put in the work. Now, they don't expect you to take them back right away. They don't expect you to give them a chance. But expect this person not to give up easily. You know, they want to build that foundation. And they're willing to put in the work. You know, they're not going to come back and expect you just to forgive them. They're going to come back and earn your forgiveness. They're going to come back and do what it takes. Because they know the potential that you guys have together. They, they, you know, they already seen something in you that makes them want you even, you know, they can't let you go. They know that they can't walk away. So there's only one other option left for them. I don't feel like they ever really walked away in the past. I just feel like they just, they stepped off. They stepped back. They got their shit together. And they're coming back bigger, better, badder than ever. <laughs> you know, I just, like I said, I feel like their their energy was all off. I mean, they were out of balance. They They were just a hot mess. And they wouldn't have been any good for you in the past. In that, in that state, they really had nothing to offer you. And they knew that. You know, they see you as, you know, they see your true, your true potential. And they didn't feel like they earned it or deserved it at the time. They didn't feel like they could. But like I said, they made a lot of big changes. And I feel like a lot of it's due to how they felt for you. You know, they wanted to be worthy of you. They wanted to, you know, be able to stand next to you and, and and have earned it and deserved it. Not because of love or anything else. Like I said, there's a lot of negative, looking at negatives instead of the positives. They have a lot of regrets. But like I said, it was never truly over for them with that tower card in reverse. You know, they only think about you. And, and they, they've never walked away from this. You know, sometimes, uh, I've said this many times before, sometimes we meet the right person at the wrong time. And I feel like I, I, I get a true feeling that this is exactly what happened here.
you know, and they know it's not going to be easy to come back. They've already established the fact that it's not going to be easy, but that isn't going to stop them from trying. And I feel like they are going to put in the work. Like I said, they're coming back. They're balanced. They got their shit together. They're feeling confident. They're feeling more sure of themselves. You know, they really worked on themselves over this period. And I feel like now they're coming back and they're ready. And you're going to get a different side of this person. And I feel like, it, you know, there's a lot of foundation to be built here. You know, I do see a lot of four moving. We have a lot of fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You know, we have a lot of water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And we have a lot of air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. They can't let you go. They know that. And that's why they have no choice but to try to get you back. Or to try to, you know, show you that they're different. And I mean, like I said, they're not expecting you. They highly doubt you're going to forgive them. But they're not going to, you know, it's that's not deterring. It, I don't, let's not even say that word. Deterring. <laughs> that's not even stopping them from moving forward. You know, they know what they want. They're coming after it. They can't let you go. They won't let you go. In the, in the most non-creepy way I can put that. <laughs> like I said, I mean, they really do care about you. They're willing to put themselves at your mercy to come back. You know, they're, they're willing to give you whatever they have to to show you that they're that they've changed that they made a lot of effort you know and and they weren't ready before and i feel like as we move forward you're gonna get more and more confirmation of why they weren't ready before you know and i feel like you're really gonna start seeing this person like i said you're gonna get a different side of this person seeing this person in a different perspective um with that hangman You know, I always try to stress that to people sometimes. Sometimes we meet someone and we have a true connection with them and we feel like it, it, it should be more and then it doesn't work out that way. And, and some people think that, okay, well, it didn't work out, so it wasn't meant to be. That's not always true. Sometimes it just wasn't meant to be then. And like I said, I don't feel like they were, they weren't in a good place. It wouldn't have benefited either one of you to move forward. The time wasn't right. The time was right now. Be good, take care, stay safe.